Welcome to another day of my plug life. Uh, I woke up this morning to an update to my car. Really excited to see this. Other than some improvements to the SNX, which I can't really go over. For example, uh, increased supercharging speeds for the Raven version, which is the ones that have been out for the last year. Uh, it brings up the charging rate almost to 225 kilowatts now, which 250 is what the long range Model 3 does get. So uh, it's pretty fast. Uh, it is like an 11% increase. There are some bug fixes, some minor stuff that I can't go over because we don't exactly know what that is, but the major ones I can go over. So let's take a look at what I found. Okay, so this is the backup camera now. Now on the bottom, there's a little arrow here. We click and we hit the right, left side. We can see what's next to us, the lines. So, and we can even use this while driving. look like next to a car oh well, here's a car here as we see on the corner there so that's pretty good now how far is that oh two feet over lots of space let's try opening the door doors open all the way not too bad All right, let's try this against a curve. It's the side of a, a bush. Okay, pretty good response. Let's go next to, let's go next to a piece of cement. So what is that? Pretty much exactly right. So here it's, I don't know, like eight inches. So pretty close, pretty good. All right, well, what do we got next? Do this by itself. This is dash cam onto your, so we can see us driving. But if we go into here, we can see sentry mode. Let's take a little video here. This is the front camera. The wipers aren't on, of course. So a little hard to see. See, there's a little red icon there. That's where it got triggered. But you see, before it is when these guys were walking by. And it's recorded part of the information. We can still see the side cameras and what have you. And the rear camera. You see these guys are walking by. Pretty cool. So we don't have to watch 10 minutes of useless information. We can now just see it perfectly fine. Easy to see. So TuneIn improvements. They improved usability and discovery of TuneIn stations and podcasts. It's easier to browse content as well as allow you to increase play playback speed. So you can speed it up listening to it. I'll show you what that's like. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we go to music and we can bring up all the different ones we have on here. Uh, these are ones that have new episodes that you can see. And uh, these are, of course, your favorites in your area, what have you. So that's pretty cool. It gives you a bit of a list. Uh, this just gives you the big list of podcasts. Um, and then you've got them listed by section. Walkway door locks. This is like if you park in your house in the garage and you don't want the doors locked. You do this, of course, if you have your key in your pocket anyways, it's going to unlock. I don't know when you'd use this. I guess if you want to get your kid to go to your car and take out some stuff out of your car, I guess, maybe. Sure, I'm, I'm sure somebody on Twitter wanted this. All right, and new language support. So if you're Portuguese, you can now see your language. Congratulations. So that's uh, more languages added to it. Pretty cool. And then... Uh, they have minor improvements and bug fixes. Of course, you're not going to know specifically what, but there is going to be changes in there. Lots, a lot of the time it has to do with autopilot, so it'll look work better in different situations. Uh, most people aren't going to see all the situations, but they do occur, so that's cool. So let's go back and let's see the traffic light and stop sign. All right, let's do an actual drive here. Uh, 
okay, so this is, um, I, I tried this out a little bit. Uh, let's see what it's uh, like uh, in the real world. Okay, let's head out. So right away, it wants me to park, that's cool. Got some cones, road signs look normal. We're good on that, stop sign, great. All right, let's take a look. So first, right away, regular cruise control, doesn't sit at the limit, because this area doesn't know exactly how fast. Stomping at the light, just like you'd expect. No problem. Blink run, no big difference. I like the red line, that's cool. It said this changes to green when there's a green light, but it needs a, a car in front of you in order to figure this out. So um, we don't have one here now, so it's not gonna figure that out. But uh, let's see what happens when it does change to green. So I've got my blinker on, so I'm telling the car I wanna turn right. And uh, I press to go and it's just gonna go. So, and then it breaks when I do that turn. So it's a little uh, upset when I do that. Anyways, let's go back onto cruise control here. I use cruise control because I can go over the speed limit if I want to. And uh, better for testing, I think. So we have a pedestrian crosswalk up here. And, uh, and we also have a railway crossing. And it's creating some lines. It slows down here at the uh, railway crossing, but it's slowing down right on top of it. Now, green light, and it's going to stop. So we got to give the confirmation to continue. No problem. Slows down a little bit on the corner. Okay, this is traffic light ahead of us. No problem. We're in a right-hand turn lane here. So what's going to happen? Nobody's in front of us. So it should just stop, it creates a line. Okay, cool. No problem. And it wants to stop before the pedestrian spot. Okay, that's cool. If I press, I want it to go. It really doesn't want me to go. Like, really does not want me to go. Like, really pissed off. That's fine. Let's wait for some traffic to go away, and we'll, uh, we'll follow in some traffic here. All right. So on some streets, it'll let you go over the speed limit. Uh, not all the streets. So this street may at one point just stop working for that plus 10 kilometers I have it set for. So generally, I'm just going to, well, let's leave it on uh, autopilot here for a little while and see, uh, see what it does. So follow distance is set usually to uh, three for me. Uh, it is raining, so it's a little bit further. Oh. So it's popped up. It doesn't know the color of the light because it didn't have green, yellow, red in there. But that was more than 200 meters. So I was thinking this. It probably visually picked it up. And oh, green light. So that means that the car in front of it told it that it's a green. Of course, there was no light, so I didn't know. Just like it's popping up again. So there's a light up ahead. We can't see it. So the car is knowing something's up there, but it just went away. So that probably means it did see briefly that green light. And with the car in front of it, it's basically all it's done is hit the stock for you or the accelerator instead of you doing it with a confirmation. And we see the green line there. That gets closer. This guy turns, he slows down as usual, and then it speeds up again fairly slowly. This is something that's been doing for a while. Guy cuts in front a bit. No problem. We can handle this. He's going to turn here. I like how he actually shows him on the line where he is in real life. Gets out of the way, and I'm going to give the car a bit of a push to get it going up to speed again. Another light coming up, 200 meters. See, it says a green. And he's quite far away, and yet he's picked it up as a lead car, so it's to give him the confirmation. And we're green all the way through. So, so far, so good. Now, I'm interested to see what the stop signs are. The stop signs should work just like regular stop signs did before. Oh, see, it popped up for a second. 
but it gave the confirmation. So it looks like about 200 meters out, it sees stop signs and stop lights, or at least it knows from the GPS map. And at that point, it sends a signal to the car saying, hey, by the way, I've got a light coming up. And the car says, well, do I get confirmation or not? And it waits for the user input. So the fact that it's giving that pop-up is telling me that it is accepting input at that point. And then the secondary popped up again. Uh, the secondary thing is it got input from the car itself saying it was okay to continue, of course, because we're following a car. So either of the two of them are good. So now this guy in front of us is going away, but that other car is probably, will probably be caught up by the time the light, next light shows up. Oh, we saw the uh, light, oh, popped up again, and then it came up again. So now it's showing yellow and red. And of course, a red line in front of us. So, so far I've only seen green and red lines. I haven't seen a yellow. I'm assuming there won't be a yellow. There, there could be. It's, it's pretty cool to see it, though. Um, it's a good, um, good visualization. Um, that little stop, sign, stop light in the corner here, uh, I find it's a little hard to look at. Uh, but I see the line going across much better. So that's definitely an improvement. So now we're getting a green light. Guy ahead of us moving forward and, oh, it's turned green. Gave the confirmation for us. Now, previous to this update, when it was doing this exact same thing and you would give the confirmation, that line would go gray. I like the green a lot better. At least we know that the car is recognizing that particular line as an okay. And it gave the thing again. Now we have flashing green lights. You'll see, you can't really see this, but our lights here are flashing green, which is a pedestrian controlled, inter controlled intersection. And before this update, or if you don't have a car in front of you, the car would ask for your confirmation because it sees a green and then it sees a turn off. So assuming it's gonna go red and then it goes green again. So the car doesn't know what to do. So it wants a second confirmation. So uh, the fact that you can use a lead car in front of you to do the same thing is definitely useful. It's coming up to another red again, as you can see. We have uh, two cars in front of us. The light changed, and the car picked it up right away. Very smooth, very smooth going through the intersections. I almost wish it would uh, speed up quicker uh, maybe follow the acceleration rate of the car in front of you or similar to that uh, because uh, when it does slow down to 5-10 kilometers an hour then it has to speed up again it's really sluggish so when they first did this driving in city streets this autopilot like this um, it would accelerate very slow so I'm just gonna take a turn here because I just saw a stop sign so let's uh, take a look at uh, how it deals with the stop signs so let me just turn around. And uh, while I'm turning around, let's take a look at this. So here's your uh, backup camera. You notice the backup camera on the trunk is uh, pretty dirty because uh, of the rain. It's hard to see through here. But the two side ones are really, really easy to see through. Uh, it looks like it's a lot better for not getting the rain on the sides than it is on the back. But anyways, let's take a look at uh, when it hits the stop sign here. Uh, so just put cruise control on and it slows down and... Uh, Stops where it should. Uh, it doesn't go through or anything. Uh, it's like uh, half a car length away though, so it's quite far. So we'll just uh, push through the intersection here uh, with the confirmation. And it kind of goes a little bit slowly, but that's not too bad. And uh, sees the next one up ahead. And uh, it's gonna slow down here. See, it slows down the same. Uh, but yeah, it's still like, uh, I don't know, a half a car length out. So half a length to uh, a full car length and uh, when I push it through here uh, uh, it's not too bad uh, but it, it's set to a speed of 30 or something like that but if you hit that button there uh, it'll now set it to the speed limit again so it's a bit of a shortcut to get you back to your regular speed uh, it's something they don't tell you about but it, it definitely saves me a lot of time instead of scrolling my uh, my wheel again and again just to get back to speed or just clicking it like crazy Thanks for checking out this video with me today. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Make sure to go and click some buttons and try this out, see how it works in your life. It might be different than my experiences and I'd like to, to hear about anything extra that you might have seen since this video came out. 
And uh, if you like, please give me a like on here. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. It helps everybody out. And uh, the more people that watch these videos, the more it shows the world that we're ready to make our lives into our plug lives. Have a good day.